Hey everybody, Al2 here, 316RC, back today on the YouTube network. And today I got my 1.6 scale FG Martyr. It's the almost ready to run version, so I needed to pick up, if you didn't see my first video on the unboxing of it, uh, this is the ready to run version, so I needed electronics for it. So uh, I selected those, and I have them here today, and I also decided to pick up some upgrade parts. So let's swing down here and take a look at uh, what parts I picked up and what we're going to uh, do to get this thing ready to run. Before we get uh, started on the parts, I'm going to give a big shout out to my brother, Big John D. He's doing some great things over there on his channel. So if you get a chance, swing all over there and take a look at it. He's got some serious stuff, including the Taylor RC Diablo 88. Oh, man, that is just, uh can't even call that next level. I call that extreme level. So get a chance, swing on over there, check out Big John D. All right, let's swing down here and see what I got for this FG. All right, I got the body off the FG here. And if you recall in the unboxing video, this comes with the Zenoa G26 260 engine. Uh, I don't know. I may take this engine out. I haven't decided yet. So if possible, I might upgrade the engine. I might put this in my uh, Mini Cooper. That came with a uh, Zenoa G23 230. So yeah, I might put that in there and put something else in here. Anyway, if I keep this in here, I did pick up. We're going to get rid of this. This uh, muffler, that's got to go. So, picked up the, I know you can't see it's wrapped up in here, uh, DDM. It's their FD-130 Dominator chrome pipe for FD two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive off-road vehicles. So, uh, that's going to be going on. This is a plastic spur, so we're going to upgrade that. I got this spur with aluminum mounting piece for the spur gear. I know it's in a different language, German, French, I don't know, whatever, but this is a, uh, a 48 tooth, no, 46. Stock is 46 tooth on the spur. So I'm going to start off with a 46, but this is the uh, steel spur gear, so we're going to upgrade that. Okay, the electronic section here, you got a section four. Let's see your um, steering servo, push-pull setup. This is your receiver box, and of course I will be running a kill switch. I run a kill switch on every fifth scale, sixth scale gas. And then this takes your throttle and brake servo here. This is a smaller servo. So what I'm going to do for that, and what I selected, let's take a look for my steering servo. I picked up, these are not high, I'm going to be running uh, nickel metal. NIMH battery in here, 6 volt. So what I picked up, these are not high voltage servos. Pick up the high tech HS5805 MG for the steering. For the throttle and brake servo, I picked up the high tech HS5645 MG. I mean, this truck is like super light in the front, so really don't need a high, super beefy, high torque steering servo. Picked up a authentic FG servo horn. This is a dual horn, so this is going to be used on the throttle brake servo. And as far as my receiver, I'm a big Futaba guy. I had this receiver. This is going to work good. The uh, R203GF 
is going to go in for my receiver. Also, this, uh, this mounting area for the servos is kind of, I don't know if you can see that. It has a lot of give to it. So, RC Car Online, um, they make a, this isn't a genuine FG or anything, but an aluminum uh, servo and electronics mounting plate to replace the uh, plastic one. It's going to give me a little more stability in there, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that on. It's what they call their part Y0109. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to upgrade the, the plastic one with this uh, aluminum plate. Let's swing around here and show you what I'm going to do to the back of this, the drivetrain area. Oh yeah, real quick, also on the pinion and spur, those are exposed. Now, nothing wrong with that, and a lot of guys run exposed, especially on your Baja, Baja clones, but uh, I decided to get the, they make a cover, a gear wheel, they call these gear wheels over there, so gear wheel cover, so that's going to go on there. All right, first thing I'm gonna do here in the rear is uh, I'm definitely gonna replace this. The air filter's gonna come off. I'm gonna put a velocity stack on and a different air filter and of course an outer wares. But uh, these plastic wishbones down here, here and here, I'm going to be replacing with these aluminum billet ones. So I got one for the left and one for the right. So that's uh, one upgrade in the back. Uh, second thing is this shock tower. Here you can see it going up. I still have these twisty ties on here to cut off the manufacturing. Uh, this uh, shock tower plastic I'll be replacing with this beautiful aluminum billet one. I did this on my uh, monster truck as well. So, uh, well, I'll tell you one thing, these FG billet parts are expensive, expensive. So, and the third thing I'm going to do, and I don't know, it's kind of hard to see down here. That's a plastic diff case down here. And I bought a complete uh, aluminum diff case kit. It comes with, uh, Comes with the aluminum case, even comes with the a whole new set of gears. So I'm going to replace it with that. Now the only other thing I might do is replace these uprights. Um, like I said, I'm going to get that uh, spur gear carrier and mount aluminum, and I may get these as well. Um, I read that some guys like to replace these with uh, billet aluminum as the um, you get some heat down in there so I may do that as well so that's uh that's pretty much what I have planned so yeah those are the upgrade parts that I uh, decided to purchase and um, put on this truck from stock so I'm pretty excited to you know, run this truck and uh, get all these upgrade parts installed. And uh, like I said, I'm really considering changing out to a special engine. So keep an eye on my channel. Uh, there's a good possibility we're going to see something about that. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, if you have any questions or comments, uh, what you think about some of these upgrade parts, um, you know, drop me a, a note in the comments below there and uh, I'll be sure to take a look at it. Anyway, don't forget to check out my buddy, Big John D. Check out his channel. I'm sure he'd appreciate it very much. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the upgrade parts video on my FG Martyr Al 2 here, 316. I'll see you guys on the next video. So long.